Mm. Bam. Bam. Twelve. We can do that. Seventeen. Zoom. I'm Mike Holland, and uh, I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade math here at Little Center Middle School. Yeah, I've used the computers uh, in my class some uh, the last few years, but uh, this will be the first year I've really used uh, Khan Academy, especially uh, really extensively in my class. Now, Khan Academy is is uh, web-based. It is uh, available to everybody and, and uh, it's, for me it's, it's a math, it has a variety of different other sources available for different uh, subject matter, but uh, the way we use it is, is uh, it has videos, it has, that are lessons, uh, and then it has practice available, so students can get uh, some practice at, at different levels, and I mean it covers from uh, one plus one uh, to calculus. And so for us at the middle school level, it really covers what we uh, would cover really well. Some of the students are really engaged by it and like, like the interactiveness of it. And then they like the choice where they can bounce around and they can learn about fractions for a little while. They get tired of fractions. They can go learn about uh, negative numbers for a while. Uh, so that they kind of like that. I think a, a lot of the students over time will begin to see that they can control their own learning. And I think... I think we as human beings, if we can control things, I think we like that a lot. One of the things that always has, has uh, bothered me uh, with the way we teach is that you, life doesn't present a page of fractions for you all the time. Really. I mean, how many pages of fractions have you done the last week? Where the whole day is not one kind of problem. Everything is a different kind of problem. So if you do five fractions and you go do five negative numbers, and then you, so it, it really does, to have a variety of kind of problems would be more realistic anyway. We live in an era of technology, so I think we ought to use the so research. Under, it'll say practice again. There you go. Practice again. Okay, we're going to do this one twice. Once you've done it twice, let me know.